What would your dream hobby be if time and money were not an issue? Making things. My hobbies already consist of 3D printing, modeling and designing etc. If money was no object I would have a proper CNC machine. I currently only have a small CNC router, laser cutter paint booth and tools out the ass. One day I'll have all these things but time is limited and I can only make so much so it's slow. But one day I'll have my dream shop and maybe be successful enough at building those things where I can quit my full-time job and focus on that. In my town we have a shared workshop space that has all sorts of stuff, including a CNC machine. I keep forgetting about that, damn. I'd love to get into this world of 3D modeling and designing, do you think there's anything helpful I could learn even though I don't have a 3D printer? Like what software do people build these things in? I am yet to do my first internet search to delve into it because I feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed with information. Blacksmithing. I love knives and blades but I can't really afford it since I'm a student. You can get pretty far without spending too much. Building a forge is pretty simple. A few hammers and a hunk of steel, I used a piece of trail rail, and we got a decent start. The most expensive thing I got was the belt sander. Collecting and playing as many instruments as I can. I really love music. Check your local pawn shop, YMMV in terms of the quality of instrument, but I bought a bass like 15 years ago from a pawn shop for $20 and that thing still bangs. It's been one of the best purchases I ever made. Just gotta be thorough when you try them out. I love carpentry. I watch dozens of YouTube videos on woodwork. I freaking love it and the creativity is endless. I wish I had a huge garage and a set of tools to work with. Me too. I love to restore and repair. An ever-expanding animal sanctuary. I would pay to visit an ever-expanding animal sanctuary. Growing plants. Any plants. Medicinal, food, or just flowers to look good. Giant greenhouses on acres of land dedicated to growing many many plants, all day every day. You should grow a lot of medicinal plants. Like poppies. Painting on large canvases with oil paints. Both the canvas and paint are so expensive and it's incredibly time consuming to do anything with oil paints. If I could afford it, I'd do many more paintings. Edit. Holy smokes guys. Thanks so much for all the advice on how to get back into this. You could also look into buying a roll of canvas and learn to make, stretch your own. The tools required are inexpensive. I take in dogs that often get passed over at shelters and restore antique clothing, furniture and other things. End goal, I live in a big old restored house with an army of dogs and the local children believe I am a witch. Having a garage and learning to fix old cars. That's what I do too, I love cars from the 60s minus Ninities. The main limiting factor of D&D is the time to get people together to play, so I'd finally get the opportunity to run the 8 or 9 campaigns I have stored away. I might even have the opportunity to run them multiple times for different groups so I could really fine tune them. The true BBEG is adult scheduling. When I get rich I'm gonna set up a gaming commune. Everyone who joins will be provided with all the necessities of life in exchange for the gaming services. You shall be the head DM. Whale watching. Hell I'm lucky. I see one every day in my mirror. Traveling and experiencing cultures around the world. Making movies making films, fighting round the world. Restoring old homes. Honestly, if money, and time, wasn't really a factor I would love to do this. My wife and I love to drive through old parts of towns around us where the old Victorian or bungalow style homes are from, 100 years ago. They have so much character and are usually built very well. Fixing any problems doesn't come cheap though. Hiking. I love walking, I'd love to have days to go on treks into proper forests and mountains. Have you ever thought of doing a through hike? If so, there are a bunch of shorter trails throughout the US that you can hike that wouldn't take longer than a few days or a full week. It's quite affordable and you wouldn't need to take that much off from work, versus the 5 to 6 months and $1,000 s you need to through hike a much longer trail. I'd personally love to get into model trains again. 1. One scale model trains. Making diamond studded bad dragons for charity. Diamond studded platinum plated dildos. Um, yes. Collecting and playing board games. This is what I do now despite the fact that time and money are certainly an issue. Starting services businesses that aren't profitable. For example I'd start a business that would clean trash off streets, cities that taxes should be paying for but aren't. 
Same with road issues. Another would be offering a type of insurance that covers basic doctor, eye, dental checkups, routine woe. RK. Something like a mall but only for local businesses, pop-ups instead of brands one sees in every mall now. Like how we have packing districts, of small eateries, but I want a huge one the size of a mall. Other countries have this but America doesn't. Competitor products for products who have since gone to shit. Like YouTube, Imager, a school that's less focused on passing tests and teaching real-world stuff that most people have to learn on their own, like teaching good habits for studying, teachy. NG good habits for physical, emotional, and mental hygiene. Teaching kids how to have passion, discipline, and drive. How to fix things. How to take care of shit if they're on their own. Basically some basic skills to help someone reach some life success in this day and age. My family came to America on nothing and now own a business with 300 plus employees. I think the American dream is achievable but most natives here are not taught how to achieve it. Honestly I would just travel the world and meet new people from different cultures along the way. It would be a relaxing and fun way to live out life if I'm being honest. I've had this as a job for the past 20 years. Some 70 plus countries, 5 million miles flown, and lots of people met. It does get old after a while in fairness, just the travel part, living in hotels, etc. The food eaten and the people met have been the best parts. Seeing places with my own eyes I only saw in pictures as a kid has been really cool. Standing in the center of the Roman Colosseum for instance or walking through Machu Picu is really fucking cool even if they are big old tourist traps. I'm an unashamed traveler. Sure I love the small hidden areas far away from tourists but I also love the big tourist places as well. No snobbery here at all, just take it all in and be kind while doing it has been my philosophy. Since I was a teenager, I always said that if I ever win the lottery I would buy a plane and do humanitarian missions with it. Bring some vaccines in isolated places around the world, do some medical evacuation with it, etc. I'm now a pilot on a Medivac plane so I guess I'm not too far from this, I wake up every day and enjoy the job I dreamed LF since I was 6 y o. Oh. Flying is a very expensive hobby, I'm glad I'm getting paid for it, but it's also my favorite hobby. I plan on doing similar at some point, through the organization MAF Mission Aviation Fellowship. Aspire to become a pilot. Photography. I'm not good at it but I think if I had the money I'd be able to invest in better lens and work on my editing skills. Keep shooting, and get used to your lens. Better equipment won't make you a better photographer. Only buy new lens when you are confident enough to make the upgrade. I just want to make shitty, awful B-list style slasher flicks. Growing up, my friends and I would always make these terrible horror movies, kinda the same formula each time. But as we continued making them, we'd experiment with special effects, makeup and props to add more realism, and tackiness to our films. The last film we ever completed was Werewolf Apocalypse 3D which actually kind of developed a small cult following. We shot the sequel but never finished the last couple of scenes, the film is 98% finished, we're debating releasing it as is, where we have a man severed in half, blood squirts all ob. Er, uh, the place, severed limbs, etc. Anyway that's what I would do. Someday. I'd love to make movies. Comedy, action, porno, horror. Before I day, I'm getting on IMDB. Blacksmith. I would love to have a home forge and make things. Not just weapons, but also industrial art and pieces for other artists to improve upon. Dude, same here. It's not even that expensive to get into, it's just I'd feel like a dick if I was smacking metal around my neighbors all day since it's hella loud so I don't want to do it at home until I get a place out in the middle of nowhere. Travel the world looking at some dope AF animals in their natural habitats, specifically chimpanzees, dolphins, whales and wolves. After that I'd set up a non-profit conservation center. This is my dream. It's give it all up to do this. Astronomy. I would go to university and article as many courses as possible. I'm not sure if article is the correct term. I would take courses but not write any exams as I would not be interested in receiving a degree. I would definitely do lab work though. That's where the real magic happens. Edit. It's called auditing courses. Thanks for this. Audit. Probably get good at snow skiing and be able to fly all over the world to ski in awesome places, maybe with those convenient helicopter rides to the top to S. Key amazing untouched powder. I probably only average like one day a year at this point. 
I live very far from anywhere that has good skiing, but it's such a good time. A huge bucket list item that's so hard to get checked off is to spend a winter skiing like every weekend. But having the free time and money before I'm likely to break a hip doing that, if then, is unlikely. Warhammer, I have a Sisters of Battle army and I really want to get to 2k points but with the metal figures since that's most of what I have already. I was going to write this too. So expensive but so fun. I'd love to pursue music more than I have so far. It takes time, which is directly linked to money, sadly. There were times when I spent 8 hours a day in some rehearsal space, by now, work has taken over and most of my private life is act to ally more important than messing about on a guitar, so I get around to play once a month at best. If I could get a job that paid well enough to buy that time, I would go back and make music as often as I could. I went to school for music and I have the same problem. I would kill to be back in a rehearsal hall 8 hours a day. Treasure hunter, adventurer, I really can't think of anything that would be better. This reminded me I used to go geocaching with my friends when I was younger and it was really cool. We found plenty of little treasures and made great memories along the way. You should look into it. Learning languages and getting paid for it. Sounds more like a job than a hobby. I would go through hiking. I would still try to do it as cheaply as humanly possible. I would start with the Bruce Trail, then the IT, and then the PCT before moving on to others. I'm debating taking the summer off and going hiking. Just a few weeks of me, the tree, and the rocks. And the IT is my main goal. I'd get a large property and build a series of epic huge aquariums replicating all sorts of different freshwater and marine environments around the world. Then I'd travel the globe fishing everywhere and keeping the fish to stock my aquariums, you know within reason I'm talking fish that can survive happily in captivity. Not a marlin or whale shark or anything. Basically to personally collect all of the world's fish, or most of them, and keep them as pets. Sigh. You had me at huge aquariums. I've got four running currently that are 100 to 150 gallons, but I would love to have a truly massive tank someday, a 1000 plus gallon freshwater planted biotope. I would stock it with schools of very small freshwater fish. I'd convert an older multi-story building into a bookstore and hang out there all day talking about books with people and reading. Being an artist and having a decent sized vegetable garden. Good art supplies are expensive as anything and it requires time to learn. For a vegetable garden I either need a home with decent space or access to a large allotment, and the time to maintain it. Writing writing writing. I love writing. And I might get out in the world and experience fun stuff along the way, cause that gives you more to write about. I'd love to make a television show with puppets, similar to Sesame Street, but for children having to cope with trauma, loss, hard transitions, ECT. There aren't a lot of mental health services that can get to children and it would be lovely to be able to bring something helpful to the ones who can't help themselves. Right with you on this one. Something like this should exist. Having a studio to paint, craft, draw, sculpt, knit, sew, write and build. It'd be the happiest. That's what I'd want too. A place to do a little bit of everything. I have big dreams of what I'd do if I won the lottery, but my realistic dreams for when I retire include sewing classes and getting a re. Ally great table saw. Probably shooting. I would love to get into competition shooting, but ammo is expensive and I don't have the time needed to really hone the necessary skills. On top of that, the ranges around me kinda suck. This. I'd love to try 3 gun shooting, but I'm doing good to put 50 rounds through my pistol every week, and that's at an indoor range that doesn't allow drawing the gun, rapid fire, or basically anything else. If I ever have serious land to build on, my wife is going to have a huge garden and I'm going to have a private range. I have a dream retirement plan, I want to have a cat sanctuary by the sea. I primarily want to focus on older cats who have special medical needs or with owners who've passed up way, older cats are often less likely adopted. I already TNR and help care for a stray colony so it isn't very far off of my current life. I have a friend who grew up on a small dairy farm. Every birthing season, his parents would send the male calves away. I came up with an expansion of my dream, I'd run a cat and bull sanctuary. I figured I could sell manure and bull sperm and help pay for the costs and I could save all those male calves. 
I finally asked why they kept getting rid of the males, turns out bulls don't really provide much a dairy farm any. Eds, if you know what I mean. Not just that, but you don't get a bunch of bulls together and have a nice and chill tea time. You don't keep bulls together, you get one. And that's what happened to my dream of the no bullshit cat and bull sanctuary. If money weren't an object, I could have enough land and facilities for all bull and kitties. You actually can keep bulls together, however they have to be a boys only club. Any females in the same pen or sometimes within a certain radius will set them off into dominance fights. Source, my buddy is a cattle rancher. His bull pen has about 25 males ATM for breeding with his 800-ish head herd of females. Usual rule of thumb is two bulls per 100 cows but they like to have a few, spares, on hand. Currently in Cabo on a trip that I got my scuba cert for. Definitely traveling and diving in different places around the world. Do it soon be, see the tropical reefs are on their way out of existence. I used to drive, recreationally, at least once a month in the FL Keys, despite the cost and time to G. A down there, I even got my master diver cert. But in the last 10 plus years, the reefs have been utterly obliterated into a dust of what they once were so that now the resource expenditures are not justified, especially since I am usually dispirited and depressed whenever I dive now, have not done so. In the last 5 years. Unsurprisingly, I currently have no plans to ever go diving again. I might reconsider for Iceland or someplace else exotic, like off Egypt in the Red Sea or French Polynesia. Video games. It sounds lame compared to other things in this thread, but I would love to find more time for them. I have such a huge backlog of games I bought but never played, along with a lot of games I want to buy and play, so if I didn't need to worry about time and money, I'd definitely gam. He. I was thinking similar but making video games. If money was truly no object, then I could hire out an office, a team of developers, and artists, and sound people and just come up with crazy ideas, sit around writing scripts and stories then turning them into playable worlds. Again if money was infinite I wouldn't care about making a profit, I'd just do it to try and make the best games possible, 